Welcome to this Windows Server 25 Basics video. In these videos, I will go over basic concepts related to the administration of Windows Server. There are hundreds of millions of Windows Server instances deployed in organizations around the world, and it doesn't hurt to cover some of the basic concepts that some of us have known for years, but others unfamiliar with Windows Server aren't aware of. In this video, we're going to talk about transferring the flexible single master operations roles from one domain controller to another. We have a video on the Windows Server playlist about the function of each FISMO role, so here we're only covering moving them. We start in the Server Manager console of a newly promoted Windows Server 25 domain controller. From the Tools menu, we open Active Directory Users and Computers. I right click on the domain and select Change Domain Controller. I do this to verify that I can see both the source and destination domain controller in this environment. Here the source domain controller is contoso-dc1-svr2016.contoso.internal and the domain controller that I want to move the FISMO roles to, which is contoso 2025 dash dc dot contoso dot internal. Now that I've verified that my console can see both domain controllers, I can start the process of moving the first three FISMO roles. The first three FISMO roles I want to move are the domain FISMO roles, and all three of them can be moved from Active Directory users and computers. You can, of course, also move them using PowerShell, and we'll do a bit of PowerShell later on, but as this is a basics video, I'm showing you how to do it the old school way. We right click on the domain in which we want to change the FISMO role holders and then choose Operations Master. On the Operations Masters page, we can see three tabs. The first is for the RID Master. To move it to Contoso-2025-DC, we click Change. We get a confirmation dialog box and we click Yes. We switch to the PDC tab and use the same process to move the PDC emulator. And finally to the Infrastructure tab and use the same process to move the Infrastructure Operations Master to Contoso-2025-DC. The next role we want to move is the Forest Level Domain Naming Master. This is done from the Active Directory Domains and Trusts console. Here we right click on the Active Directory Domains and Trusts node and select Operations Master. On a dialog box similar to the previous three, we select Change to move the domain naming master to Contoso-2025-DC. The final Operations Master to move, the Schema Master, is a bit tricky because to get access to the appropriate console, you need to register a specific DLL file. To do this, we open a terminal admin session and run the command R E G S V R 32 S C H M M G M T dot D L L. Now that the DLL is registered, we can open an unadorned Microsoft Management Console and add the Active Directory Schema snap in. Once the Active Directory Schema snap-in is loaded, we right-click on the Active Directory Schema and choose Change Directory Server. We set the directory server to Contoso-2025-DC. We get a warning about it not hosting the schema, but that's what we are here to change. We right-click again on Active Directory Schema and choose Operations Master and on a dialog that looks like all the others, select Change. To verify that everything is working as intended, we drop down to PowerShell and run two separate commands. The first command identifies the location of all the domain level FISMO roles. All of these come back as being on Contoso-2025-DC. The second command identifies the location of the two forest level FISMO roles. These both come back as being on Contoso-2025-DC. And that's the basics on how you move FISMO roles in Windows Server 2025. 